Now, in a previous video, I said that once the first draft was over, uh, that it was time for the second draft. Uh, perhaps should have clarified this a bit more clearly. When the first draft is over, don't immediately jump into the second draft. Okay, don't just say the end and then the next day start on the second draft. You've got to give yourself a bit of time after the first draft is over. Take a break, take a week, even a month, okay? When you're writing a book, I guarantee it's the only thing that's going to be in your head, day in, day out. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, you're going to be thinking about this book. The good parts and the bad parts. It's just going to be a part of your life until it's finished. So when you've got the first draft finished, the worst thing you can do is immediately jump into the second draft. You need to let it sit for a while. You need to put the manuscript away and not think about it for a little while. Do something else. Don't start another book. Just do something else. You know, go on holiday or take, take the, the partner out on a day trip or, or you know, do something. You know, re read, watch TV, binge, you know, um, binge watch on Netflix, do something. But don't think about your book. And by getting the whole book thing out of your head and thinking about something else and recharging your batteries then that means that when you eventually do go back to the book to start the second draft, then you are looking at that manuscript with a fresh pair of eyes, with a fresh perspective. So you're not looking at it the day after you finish the first draft and you're saying, oh my God, I can't believe I'm looking at this again. When you go back a month later, or whenever it is, you've had a month of rest and relaxation and you've been doing god knows what skydiving windsurfing rollerblading whatever it is that you do in your life so when you go back to the manuscript you're feeling great you're relaxed you're calm at least until you start writing and then you're stressed again but forget that and then if you approach the second draft with that frame of mind then the rewriting and editing process gets much, much easier because you'll be looking at your work with a more positive frame of mind. You won't be looking at it, hating it, thinking to yourself, what it's done to you. You'll be looking at it and you'll be thinking, wow, that's not so bad after all. I'll just do a bit of work here and a bit of work there and a bit of editing and changing here. And suddenly it goes much more smoothly. So take a break after the first draft. Relax. Get the whole book thing out of your head. And go back to it after, I would say, about a month. And then you'll find that the second draft goes much, much smoothly.